Section 1. The Power of a Strong Start A new section in an essay is like a new paragraph. It's the first impression you make on your reader. It needs to grab the reader's attention immediately, making them curious and engaged. We don't want the reader to get bored or lose interest right at the beginning. A good introduction makes the reader want to keep going, eager to discover what comes next. It tells them what to expect, giving them a roadmap of the journey ahead. It sets the stage for the information to come, creating a sense of anticipation. Think of it like this. You're watching a movie. The opening scene is crucial. The movie starts with a boring scene, lacking any excitement or intrigue. Would you want to keep watching? Probably not. You might even switch it off. But if the movie starts with action and excitement, you're hooked from the very beginning. Introductions are like that exciting first scene. They set the tone and pull you in. They pull the reader in, making them eager to continue they make them want to know more, to explore the content further and stay engaged. Section 2 Grabbing Attention Crafting Effective Section Introductions So, how do we write these captivating introductions? It's a question that every writer grapples with at some point. There are a few tricks we can use to make our introductions more engaging and effective. One way is to start with a question. Questions make people think and engage their curiosity. They want to know the answer and this keeps them hooked. For example, we could start this section with What's the secret to writing a captivating introduction? This immediately piques interest. See how that draws you in? It's a simple yet effective technique. Another way is to use a surprising fact or statistic. This can be a real eye-opener, something that makes the reader say, wow, I didn't know that, can be very powerful. For example, did you know that most readers only read the first few sentences of a section before deciding to continue? This fact can be quite surprising. That would make them want to make sure their introductions are strong, right? It emphasises the importance of a good start. We can also start with a short anecdote or story. Stories are powerful tools in writing. They connect with us on an emotional level, making the content more relatable. Even a short one can make a big impact. A well-told story can set the tone and draw readers in from the very beginning. Section 3. Asking the right questions. Engaging your reader. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They can make your writing more engaging. They invite the reader to think actively about the topic. But not all questions are created equal. The best questions are open-ended. They don't have a simple yes or no answer. They invite the reader to think critically and form their own opinions. For example, instead of asking, are introductions important? Ask, why are introductions so crucial for keeping readers engaged? Think about your target audience. What questions would they be interested in? What would resonate with their experiences and perspectives? Section 4. The Art of the Answer Satisfying Curiosity When you ask a question in your writing, you create an expectation. The reader expects you to address that question. Failing to do so can leave them feeling frustrated and disengaged. Answer the questions you pose thoroughly and thoughtfully. Provide evidence and examples to support your points. Connect your answers back to the main topic of the essay. Consider different perspectives. Are there other ways to answer the question? 
Acknowledging different viewpoints can make your writing more nuanced and engaging. Section 5. Transitioning smoothly. Connecting your ideas. Transitions are the bridges between your ideas. They help your writing flow smoothly from one point to the next. Without them, your essay can feel choppy and disjointed. Use transition words and phrases to connect your sentences and paragraphs. Words like however, furthermore, and on the other hand, can signal a shift in thought or introduce a new perspective. Summarize the previous point before moving on to the next. This helps the reader follow your train of thought. For example, you could say, now that we've explored the importance of introductions, let's delve into the art of asking engaging questions. Section six, examples in action, bringing it all together. Let's look at some examples of how to write engaging introductions for different sections. The impact of social media on communication. Is social media connecting us or isolating us? This section explores the complex relationship between social media and human interaction. The benefits of learning a new language. Imagine being able to communicate with people from all over the world. Learning a new language offers a wealth of personal and professional benefits. These introductions grab the reader's attention and clearly indicate what each section will cover. Section 7. The Bane. Norhemness. Accident. A case for engaging writing. Even when dealing with serious topics like the Bane, Norhemness, Accident, engaging writing is crucial. It ensures that the gravity of the situation is conveyed effectively. Engaging writing helps readers understand and process complex information, making it easier to grasp the nuances of the incident. It makes the information memorable and impactful, leaving a lasting impression on the reader's mind. Imagine you're writing a report on the accident. Your goal is to not just inform, but also to engage and educate. Instead of simply stating the facts, Use vivid language and compelling storytelling to engage your audience. Paint a picture with your words. Describe the scene in detail, the events leading up to the accident and the aftermath. Make the reader feel as if they are witnessing it firsthand. Ask thought-provoking questions throughout the report. Encourage the reader to think deeply about the issues at hand. What factors contributed to the accident? Was it human error, mechanical failure, or something else? What lessons can be learned to prevent similar incidents in the future? How can safety protocols be improved? By using these techniques, you can transform a dry report into a compelling narrative that captures the reader's attention and prompts meaningful reflection. This approach not only informs, but also inspires change and awareness. Section eight, your turn to engage. A call to action. Now that you've learned about writing engaging introductions, it's your turn to put these techniques into practice. Think about a piece of writing you're working on. How can you make your introductions more captivating? What questions can you ask to spark your reader's curiosity? Remember, writing is a conversation. Engage your readers, invite them to think critically and make them want to keep reading. Section nine, share your thoughts, survey and discussion. We value your feedback. Please take a moment to share your thoughts on this essay by participating in our brief survey. Your responses will help us improve our content and provide you with even more valuable writing tips. We also encourage you to leave a comment below 
and share your insights on writing engaging introductions. What techniques have you found effective? What challenges have you faced? Let's continue the conversation and learn from each other.